Good m oh man, look at me. Good morning <laughs> from Disembarkation Day. It's early. It's uh six forty right now. We're like in the midst of packing. We have twenty minutes. Yeah, I slept. Minutes? I feel like this cruise. I got the most sleep I've ever gotten on a cruise. Mm. I woke up pretty well rested. Oh, mm. Jackson's waking up. Is he? Mm. Da da. Hi, buddy. There he is. Also, there we are. Port Canaveral. We're back home. We are no longer in the tropics where it's nice and warm. We're now back in Florida where it's 50 degrees. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get off the ship and <laughs> head back home. First thing we have to do is finish packing up and then we gotta get down to breakfast so we can eat some breakfast before getting off the ship. Just 7.05 right now, we're heading out the door. Oh no, the switch, we can't leave oh this. Oh my gosh, what if we left that? What if we left the switch? That would've been bad. Okay. Can you hold it, Jackson? Good job. All right, you. good job. Don't lose it. All right, I, I think we're good. I will say, the hardest thing about this room is getting the stroller. The stroller doesn't really fit in the room. Right? So, All right. But we had a great time. Yeah. Let's go get good. our breakfast. First stop, Arendelle for breakfast. Our last stop. The last stop, the last stop well, I guess. Yeah, because we have to go back to the terminal. That's our last stop. We have to get off here. All right. This is the last opportunity right. for any lost know, Jackson, and found items that? from this voyage. He didn't even notice that last night. He was just like, what is this thing? All right. See you soon. Hang in there, Joan. Also, everybody just kind of leaves their luggage outside. It's very nice. This is ours right here. It's also interesting because a lot of people like left the window open for people to maybe like sit in. I don't know. A lot of spaces around the windows. A lot less lively and celebratory in here this morning. Everybody's tired and not wanting to get off the ship. Look at this view of the parking lot back here. Also, if you're here, like you can see Rapunzel out there. We'll see if on the way out we can get like closer to the window in the more than the center of the room. She's kind of like right there though. You can see her hand on the back of her head. There you go. There's her foot right there. Quick look at the breakfast here. Not really a big selection, but still, you know, nice to have a nice breakfast in the morning. What? 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 I don't know if we showed this, but we got some, <laughs> we got some uh, fruit, got some toast. They also brought us out like some pastries. Oh yeah, we ate them all. And we ate. We got muffins and there were no donuts there, but we got muffins and croissants. There was a uh, uh, like a cinnamon roll. Have we had a great time? Solange, have we hope to see you real soon? Real soon. Who was that? <laughs> Those people? Probably. Who do you think it was? Yeah. He, he doesn't know who like Mickey is, but he points at him all the time. Yeah. All right, I got a ham and cheese omelet, bacon and hash brown. Mm, I got two fried eggs, ham and bacon. I didn't think I was gonna get both. I don't know. And then Jackson got uh, French toast with bacon. And Oliver's been eating some bread. Yeah. Alright, now we are all done with breakfast. It was good. It was a good breakfast. Not as good as all the other food that we've had this week or this weekend, but still delicious. I feel like they don't make the food at breakfast as tasty because they want you to get out. They're like, just eat it and leave. <laughs> the elevator situation is so bad on disembarkation day on the Wish that like I sent the kids in there and now we're just heading down. Like mommy and the kids are in the elevator and I'm just walking down the stairs with my luggage. So it wasn't bad because we were on five and we're going down to three. So I just have to go down two levels, but still not fun. You guys remember back one of the last times that we were on the wish, we looked at a $4 million set of jewelry and Jen said that they sold it. All right, we've made it off the cruise ship. There it is over there, headed back to the car. It's a steamy 50 degrees here in Orlando, Florida, or <laughs> we're out at uh, Titusville right now, but see you later wish until next time. Yeah, those clouds look like mountains, don't they? Wow. All right, let's get home. Let's get you to school, actually. All right, we are leaving. There's one last look at the Wish. Bye, Wish. There was another cruise ship. I think that was the the Carnival Freedom. All right, so we're leaving the port now. We're taking Jackson to school. It's a regular school day. Yeah. Look at us. Ready to go. He's just gonna be like maybe. Uh, like an hour late or like so. An hour or so late. But he was so excited to tell his friends about the cruise because he left on Friday. We got him out of school early on Friday. 
went on the cruise and then came back late on Monday. Yeah. So it's going to be an exciting, exciting Monday no morning. Yes. It looks like there's going to be traffic. It's going to take us an hour and 44 minutes to get back into town. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. What's that all about? <laughs> right. There's the bright line. Monday we'll take it. Ooh. It's a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I think it goes 150 miles an hour. Wow. And that'll take you down to Fort Lauderdale so you can get on a cruise ship down there too. Oh, nice. One of the other Disney cruise lines. We're, uh, we're stuck in traffic. But we're stuck behind the fifth generation pickle people from Cool Crisp. Yeah. You think that, that truck is full of pickles? Maybe. It doesn't look refrigerated. <laughs> you don't have to refrigerate pickles if they're mm. in a jar. If we stop next to them, run over and ask him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a pickle. We make hamburger slices by the billions, is one that, at a time. Is that what they said? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Oh. Somebody wrote Marco, and then somebody else wrote Polo. But if you look at it, the letters are very thick. Thicker than a finger. Oh, you think they but used the a pickle? size for a pickle. Oh, no. Maybe they rode on the back of their truck with a pickle. Oh. This is how we entertain ourselves while we're waiting to get to our exit because up ahead, all lanes are blocked. All lanes are blocked. So we're all... We hope everybody's okay, whatever the accident was. Oh, yeah, of course. All lanes are blocked. So we're all trying to get off at the exit coming up. This is pretty interesting right here. You see all, like, the, the gray deadness right here? Yeah. This is the swamp that we're going over. This is, like, wet. But then once you get to the outer banks here, it gets green again. So yeah. you can see where the river, or like the water runs through. It's kind of neat, right? Where a river runs through it? Yeah. Brad, Brad Pitt's Pitt. over there. Brad Pitt's right there. <laughs> Who else was in that? I literally don't know. Just yeah. Brad Pitt. He's the only one I know. That other guy <laughs> was his brother. Check out this red Audi. It's uh, all decked out to look like a radio flyer. Like a little wagon. A little wagon. Look at its rims. A little like wagon rims. You know what the funny thing is about this traffic that we're in right now? What? So we left at 8.30. It is now 10.40. Mm -hmm. Still not anywhere near the house. We're about an hour away from the house. Because the only detour around the 528 getting back into Orlando takes you like over towards Titusville, then over to Bithlow, towards Sanford, and then coming back down the 417 mm -hmm. to get towards Orlando or I-4 towards Orlando. Uh, like if you're heading to the airport, you would take 417. Normally it would just take us like 40 minutes to get back into town. Well, we also- Now we're gonna be back at like noon. We got off the ship very quick. Yeah. Normally we would get off the ship quick because we have the express debarkation, but this this time we did the, like, the standby regular line and it went so fast, it was so efficient. Yeah. And what's annoying <laughs> is that I had planned on dropping everybody off, dropping Jackson off at school, and then coming out to Bithlow to meet up with Adam the Woo to go to a race. There's like a, a drag race that's going on out here, like a big drag race event. Which is where we are. We're, we're li it's literally like a block that way. We're in Bithlow right like now. like passing by where I would be going. Oh no. So, I don't know if I'll make it out there today because we won't get back to the house until like noon. And then I would have to drive back out here. If you don't go today, you should definitely check out Adam's video. Yeah. Which we will link down below. There's an so event called see. Sick Week. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I'll make it back out here, but we'll see what happens. I did want to show you this. You can really see the baby's teeth right now. Look at those teeth. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Look at those little teeth. You see him? Oh no, he won't let me show you. All right, we have made it back home. Uh, right now it's about noon. It took a little bit of time to get the stuff out of the car, but for the most part, we got home at like 11.30, 11.40ish, which puts us right at about three hours to get from the port to Orlando. Not typical, it normally takes about 40 minutes, but like something was going on in the 520, uh, 528 and it like everything was shut down and we had to go two hours out of our way because there are no other direct routes into Orlando. You have to kind of just go around the long, long way. So I feel for everybody that had a plane flight to catch this morning because I don't think they caught them off that cruise ship. So I don't know. Now it's time to do some laundry. Did also want to mention we really do like these cruise line, this cruise line luggage. Like I like the design of it. I like the look of it, but it didn't last very long. Look, this is already starting to fall apart. We've got a hole right there. They are like hard side, but not that hard aside and then the biggest thing is this right here this wheel is done for so 
I think our luggage has seen better days and is heading to luggage, uh, the luggage afterlife. The little one's still doing pretty good. Yeah, no issues there. No issues with the wheels on this one. But the big one, not so good. All right, it's a few days later. Just a few. We have unpacked, yeah. the laundry is done. It's back to normal. Things are put back together where they belong. We did it. We did it. We went on a Disney cruise. We went on a Disney cruise. <laughs> you just repeat everything I said. Uh, you know what I did <laughs> what? and I didn't tell you? What? I ordered replacement wheels for the suitcase. Oh, I was kind of curious. To them. Yeah, I was curious if that was like something we could do because I love that luggage. Nobody else, I have never seen anybody else with that luggage. I know that they sold more than one set of it. Right. Like I know it was a popular set, but I have every single Disney cruise we've ever been on, I have never seen anybody else with that luggage. Yeah. So it's just like easy to find, you know, like on the last day when you get your luggage from like where you leave the port and everything. Yeah. So I'm like, I really don't want to get rid of that luggage. Yeah, so I'm going to try to replace the wheels. They are like rollerblade style wheels. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Cool. Yeah. I was going to get the ones with the lights in them. But I oh, didn't. that'd be kind of fun-ish, maybe. You know it'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, let's just go over what we bought on the cruise. Because this is like normally what we would do on our last day would be our like, we're home, here's our haul type stuff. Uh, we only got a couple of things. So we did get the hook hand we got four of these actually. i was gonna say yeah we actually got four because jackson got one and then he got three more for his friends from his class and so they now all have matching hook hands yeah but jackson was so funny he he like would not he would not take this off right we went and saw a movie he wore it <laughs> the entire way through the movie he wore it all through dinner like he he loved this thing and i thought it was so cute when all of the character attendants were like, where'd you get that hook hand? He's like, I bought it at the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could hear him. He was so far away from the camera, but that's what he was saying to, um, who was he saying that to? Donald, maybe? Donald, yeah. yeah, he's like, I bought it. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. You know what's really fun about the hook hand? What? Is that it was one of my favorite souvenirs as a child. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. We got it from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Yeah. I wonder if they sell this at the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and is it also $10? I couldn't believe this was... That may seem expensive to some people, but for Disney pricing, yeah. that's that's probably the least expensive thing. I kind of wonder if it is the least expensive thing. Like, I'm sure a magnet like, might be cheaper. I don't think so. Really? I really don't. Mm. Yeah. That sounds like a challenge. I'm booking another cruise right now <laughs> to find out if the hook is the cheapest thing. Yeah, we should have checked on this one, but I just, uh, well, next time we go on a Disney cruise, we will definitely look and see what the cheapest peach, the cheapest piece of merchandise, not like, not like sundry type stuff, right? but like actual like souvenir -y merchandise mm -hmm. is, yeah. Now here's the weird thing. So we also, we get picture frames whenever we go on uh, trips or, you know, Disney trips specifically. And so we bought a picture frame and I we showed it in the video. It was the one that looked like a piece of luggage. Yeah. It had like two straps that looked like leather with two straps. But when I opened it, it was it was wrapped up when I unopened when I unwrapped it, it was wrapped in this like tissue paper. And I opened it and this is the frame that we got. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. I, I don't know <laughs> how we got this frame. I don't, I could have sworn that we got the other frame. That's the one that I remember bringing up to the counter. Right. But this is the one we came home with. <laughs> and it's not bad. It's not a bad frame. But I just remember picking up that other one. Yeah. Because it was like so different. Yeah. I showed it in the video. I don't right. know. So I'm very confused we by got, this. This one was thirty four ninety nine. dollars uh, It's wooden. It has the engraving of the, the Disney Cruise symbol. And then it says Disney Cruise Line. Yeah. So there's it's that. It's nice. It no, is a it, nice frame. It is nice. But when I opened it, I, un I unwrapped it and I was like, what the heck is this? Yeah. So. I was like, what? <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to just quickly, because I didn't do it in yesterday's video, we, Jackson and I went and saw Wish. Yeah. Just Disney's Wish on the Disney Wish. Yeah. And it was playing. Asha, Star. Yeah. It was, it was playing all day on the third day of the cruise. Right. It was the only movie that was playing, at least in the Neverland theater. Maybe the other theater had some different stuff. But so we watched it. Jackson watched the entire movie. 
Before the movie, though, they did have an ad for Disney's Story Living. Yeah. Which is their... It's in California, and it's basically like a Disney uh, suburb. Community. Community, yeah. Yeah. And it, it looked really cool. Yeah. Like, really, really cool. I mean, it has some pretty cool elements to it. It was basically like you could have Disney things almost like room serviced to your house, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it had, and, and there were like magical elements to the community. Yeah. I don't know. It just seemed very cool. So that made me kind of want to look into that a little bit further. It has one of those huge crystal lagoons. Yeah, where it's like the, at Disney Springs, how they have like the springs, but it's really just like a man-made pool. But you can go swimming in it? I would love that. You can't go swimming at the one at Disney Springs. Don't try it. No, but somebody just today I saw on Twitter, somebody was swimming in, uh, what's the, what's the lake that the boat goes on which boat like where you where you get on to go on to tom sawyer's island like what's oh, that the uh, rivers, rivers of, of america. america somebody jumped off of a, a raft and like got in there today why i don't know people why are, do people do these things i think i mean i don't know <laughs> i was gonna say for like internet clout but it looked like an old man so i don't know how much internet clout he was trying to get maybe he was just done he's like <laughs> he's like i'm so hot <laughs> get me no it's cold it was cold today yeah <laughs> i don't know he was just like I'm done. The you kids can have this vacation. I'm going swimming. <laughs> but like, anyway, so it just made me picture like somebody jumping into the one at Disney Springs. Don't do it. Not right. a good idea. But um, but the one at Story Living, Story Living, right? Yeah. You can do it there. Jump in there. Totally legal. The like rec center is like themed after The Incredibles. It's like a nineteen. Oh, well, it's, it's like uh, like mod modern it's like the one at um cabana bay how they have the yeah. jack lillane like that whole thing yeah but it's like it's more than just like a fitness center it's the community center oh yeah i don't know it just it looked really cool but anyway so then we watched the movie and jackson watched the entire movie he was really into it he couldn't understand why the the king king magnific magnifico why was he bad Right. He's very into, like, why are villains villains right now? He keeps asking, like, why is Bowser bad? Because they've been playing Mario. And I'm he... Like, I don't know. He's just angry, I guess. <laughs> like, And I don't... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I'm like, I don't know why King Magnifico is bad. Like, I don't know what made him turn bad. I th and I tried to explain to him it was because, like, he... In in the movie, he started, he started to spoiler use... Spoiler alerts. Oh, yeah. Is this spoilers? Sure. Okay. <laughs> he started to use, like... Um, dark magic Ooh. and that sort of like took over him and turned him into like a bad guy dark magician yeah so i that's sort of how i explained it to him but i loved the um the music was great i loved i did like the story but it felt so rushed to me yeah i i know that like i don't think that jackson could have sat through a full two hour long movie this movie was like an hour and a half i think it was like just the right amount of time but I just feel like they were trying to put so much into an hour and a half. Right. If it was a two hour long movie, it would have felt less rushed. They could have done a little bit more character development. Yeah, I don't know. It, and I also, I didn't... Give King Mag Magnifico a backstory. It wasn't even him that needed the backstory completely. It was like, it was like Asha's backstory and like her Saba and like her whole family backstory. I just, I needed like more information. Yeah. Why was she friends with those guys? The people in the kitchen? Yeah. I don't know. I think because she works at the castle. But I don't think she did work at the castle yet. She was trying to work at the castle. Yeah. And those were just like her buds that worked at the castle. I don't know. But it just... It was... There were... It, I needed more time, I think. It, I I like the music a lot, though. The, mu the music <laughs> was really good. But I wish that they had given Ariana DeBose, like, a better movie. Right. Because she's, like, so good. Right. I just wish that they had given her more. Right. Or I just wish this movie had done better. I don't know. So, but I also didn't love the animation style. Oh. Like the one girl, so her friend, there's, she has a friend that works in the kitchen that wears glasses. Also, all of her friends are supposed to be like the seven dwarves. And I realized that like halfway through, I was like, oh, this is kind of funny. I think the voice actor who plays the friend with the glasses like started at DCA. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I just, I didn't, I mean, that's really cool. 
her, the way that they animated her, it reminded me so much of one of the characters in Shrek. And you know how Shrek is like an older movie. Right. So it's just the animation style in Shrek is not as like detailed. It's almost like watching like the first Toy Story movie and then like the latest Toy Story movie. There's just like a huge difference. Right. It's kind of like that. The animation style in for some of the characters in this movie seemed unfinished. Right. And I just was like not a fan of that. Okay. I don't know. But I'm not like some, you know, like animation buff. It just looked weird to me as like a casual viewer. I think it was animated in two different styles. Okay. Uh, I think that the characters were CGI, like computer animated. Yeah. And then the backgrounds were probably also done on the computer, but they were meant to look like uh, animation backgrounds. It just... So the backgrounds were flatter. Yeah, okay. And they gave it the look of the multiplane camera. Okay. But then all the moving characters were just like three-dimensional. I, it just looked weird to me. But I really did enjoy the the character. Like, I I enjoyed Asha's, like, story. I enjoyed, like, the story of the movie. I liked the, the music a lot. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm glad I saw it for free on the ship. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But but I am very, very happy that Jackson sat through the movie and we got to experience that together. That was really yeah. cool. I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't get to go see the Marvels, but it'll be out oh, on, yeah. on Disney Plus in like two days. So Well, speaking of that too, it was neat to see the new stuff that they added to the Marvel Dinner Show. Yeah. That was cool. That was mind-blowing. And I guess they added it because the Marvels came out. Yeah, it was like updated for that movie. Right. And then Spider-Man. They added Spider-Man. Yeah, which is kind of, I don't know, it was interesting. Yeah. Because he didn't really have anything to do with anything. He showed up late, <laughs> yeah. and then they're like, oh, thanks, Spider-Man. And he's like, all right, I'll see you guys later. But I think that the kids were probably more excited about seeing Spider-Man than they were about seeing the Ant-Man and the Wasp. Right. So, like, Jackson was excited. Uh, so that was really cool. Yeah. But, I mean, we had a great time. It was a good cruise. It was different than we thought it was going to be because yeah. we let Jackson pick everything. And like Castaway, more my favorite part of the cruise, he's like, nah, skip it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he he doesn't really love like sand and salt water. Right. Because he got salt water in his eyes one time when we went to Castaway because he like he didn't have his goggles on. And so I think he now associates it like, I don't want to go in the in the salt water because it hurt my eyes. Right. But even though he had his goggles, so but we told him, we said, you get to pick everything we do on this cruise. Like this is your special cruise. You get to you get to choose it, so that's what he wanted to do. Yeah. So, you know, he just we kind of rolled with it. We had a lot of fun. He got to do all the stuff he wanted to do. Yeah. I think it was a really great time for him, for all of us. I think we all had a lot of fun. I think we all liked to sing. <laughs> we did. We all had a really good time. But I, it was just really special that he got to you know like he got to choose it. You get to do whatever you wanted to. Yeah, it was his special weekend. Yeah. So, fantastic cruise. I want to go on another one already. Would you say, though, that your the Fantasy is still your favorite Disney yeah. cruise ship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, the Wish grew on me this time. Yeah? Yeah, I think the more that you sail on the Wish, the more the more that we sail on the Wish, the, wish, the more that I like it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it's growing on me. I'm glad they changed the elevator buttons, but the elevator yeah. situation still is rough. Oh, yeah, it really is. The door, oh my gosh, that was something that, like, was really horrible, is that the doors, like, do not stay open. Right. If you don't run to the elevator and put your hand there to, like, stop it from closing, it literally opens for, like, one second and then immediately closes, and it's too short of a time for even the people in the elevator to, like, hold the door for you. Right. Like, you, I can't tell you how many times I was, like, running to the elevator going, hold the door, and they were like, ugh. And it, it, no, but the door just closed. Right. So I wish they would keep the door open a little bit longer. But I understand why they don't because those elevators need to move. Right. But they also need to like let people in the door. Right. You know. <laughs> so you know. I would also love to go on a wish cruise and check out the adults only area because I did walk through it to get yeah. to the hero zone when I was watching you guys do the Incredit course, which was super awesome by the way but when i walked through the adults only area i was like man this is where it's at yeah it was so nice Mm. so i would love to go on a cruise where we can like actually use that space okay just 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 throwing it out there 
Just saying. But I also wanted to answer just a couple of questions that we got specifically about this cruise okay. that were just in the comments. I was just kind of gathering these from the comments. But uh, we got a comment asking, how can we explain how we changed from the late dinner to the early dinner? Because this family had a, a similar situation. They booked a cruise, they're on the late dinner, and that's not going to work for their kids. As soon as we got onto the ship, we went up to guest services and we said, hey, can we move to the earlier dinner? Well, so it wasn't as soon as we got on the ship. It was after our mustard drill. After the mustard drill, right. Which actually turned out to be a really good way to do it because the line was super long when we got on the ship for guest services. Right. But then after the mustard drill, everybody had to get out of line and go to their mustard spots. So then we just like got into line really quick after the mustard drill. So there was no line. Right. So we just asked guest services and they took care of us. But I have, we have had this situation before where we had the late dinner and we had to change it. And when we first got onto the ship, we went over to Luna. And in there, there was just a bunch of guest service representatives that were there to specifically help people with their changing their dining time, changing their rotation, making sure that their families were all together, like mm -hmm. making sure if they, there was a different room that you were with, everybody was eating together. Just like arranging the dinner reservations. So I would check guest services first, but also you can try Luna right. as well. But I would I would definitely go to guest services first and just ask them and if they can change it, they will. But there may be situations where they can't change it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Right. Uh, another question that we got was, there's a family going on the, on the Disney cruise for the first time and they were wondering if when you go to Castaway Key, do you have to bring documentation? Do you have to bring your passport? Do you have to bring your license, you know, your ID, whatever? I would always bring that stuff but we've never been asked for it. We've only just been asked for our key to the world, which is the key to your room. Yeah. And it should also be noted that you can now bring a Magic Band Plus on the cruise and use it as your door key and for like telling the photo pass people what your room number is, mm -hmm. but that is not your identification to get back on the ship. So like if you get off the ship at like a port day, let's say you're going to Nassau, like we did, and you wanna get off the ship, you need to have your key to the world, your your room key. Right. And when you're going to Castaway, you need to have your room key. So roundabout answer is like, no, you don't need to bring your identification onto Castaway, specifically Castaway, uh, but you, maybe you should bring it just in case. Right. And then the last question, just because we got a few of these, I think because there are a bunch of people on the icon of the seas right now, Okay. but people were asking like, are you ever gonna do another cruise line cruise? Probably, <laughs> but as of right now, I know Disney, I like Disney. I feel like we are creatures of comfort, right? right? Is that the word? Like we, I, I have so many things going on with having an infant and a preschooler, taking them both on a cruise. I like can't handle the stress of trying to learn a new ship. Right. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it's too much. So. For me personally, I don't necessarily want to go on like a Royal Caribbean cruise or whatever, you know, Celebrity Carnival, Norwegian, whatever it is. I want to stick to Disney because I know Disney. Right. And it's like less stress for me. <laughs> right. But I am interested in the new um, Royal Caribbean ships. And also, like, I like the idea that like when you get on Disney, yeah, there are upgraded restaurants with like Remy and Paolo, but like... It feels like to me on the Royal Caribbean ships, there's more upgraded restaurants. You still have to pay for like soda and things like that. And like, I don't know, it seems simpler on a Disney cruise. It's also more expensive. I do know that the Disney cruises are more expensive. That's what people have told me, but there have been times where I've priced it out. And then after I added in all the stuff, because like you start out with a basic room. Yeah. And then like you have to add things and add things i do <laughs> remember pricing it out and like there were a bunch of things that i had to add and after i was done adding everything in it was fairly close to a disney cruise price mm, okay well the like just that goes to say that one day i'm sure we will do a royal caribbean cruise right but as of right now i don't know we just kind of like disney cruises yeah it's just what we like yeah you know yeah um so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I don't know if I'd like to go and like not be able to see Mickey. Yeah. So I wonder if Royal Caribbean has like characters. I don't think they do. No. 
Okay. Just curious. I, I know that uh, Carnival has Shaq. Shaq? Yeah, he's like the cruise meister or something like that. Is he a, a, a character on the cruise? No, he's not on the cruise ship, but he's oh. like their, their representative. Okay. Yeah. Shaq. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool if he was on the cruise. Right. But, but yeah, so those are just a few questions that we got about this specific cruise on these specific cruise videos. We had so much fun though. It was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the videos and hanging out with us while we were on the cruise. And I think there will be more cruises to come. I think so too. <laughs> so all in all, it was a fantastic cruise. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.